then she'll do anything to make it happen. That's the problem. What? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I kind of choked on my tea. Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Ed Plays Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, let's do this. Let's look in the mail because we have now Lib Musi. It's so like Lib is like library and then Musi is like music almost. Something weird's going on here. Anyway, uh, character discrepancy. Having run the control simulation for a while, it's evident that a certain character is missing from any mention or appearance. What? This makes me speculate that Monica's meddling is less clumsy than we think, because she was a, she would have had to manufacture this character herself as a way of forcing interaction between her and the user. Could that be why the character has such limited and dissonant personality traits? Or am I reading too much into this? I'll open an issue to start tracking info and observation on the anomaly of this character appearing. What is that then? Okay. Could that be the player character? Could it be? Why am I so orange all of a sudden? That might be better. Uh, all right. Interesting. I don't know what this means. Is I, I, I assume that's referring to me, the player. Uh, and we, uh, we got this. Cool. Wait, hold on. Finish the side story, trust one. What about trust two? None of these say trust two. But I did finish it, didn't I? And I got new music. I... Again, don't know what is new and what isn't, but uh, what else? What what else might I have? Uh, what else might I have, have have unlocked or something? Hmm. I don't know. All right. Well, let's just go uh, to this side story two part two trust. No, can't remember the name of it. Okay. For the first time, Sayori is the first to enter the club room. Wait, that's not true. Last time, right? No, I guess. That was in the middle of the action. Oh, well. Anxiety courses through her relentlessly. Will Yuri show up today? Sitting at a desk, she stamps her feet in an attempt to calm down. Why am I letting this affect me so much? I'm doing everything I can to make Yuri happy, but my best wasn't good enough. But it was still my best. I, but I'm letting everyone down. I'm always such a disappointment. Sayori continues to wrestle with her self-deprecating thoughts. Every tiny noise causes her to lift her head in anticipation of Yuri's arrival. <laughs> Minutes pass and nobody enters the club room. Not Yuri or Monica. Oh no. That's so sad. Some. Oh god. Gosh, sorry. Gosh, sorry, I'm so late. Something's got a horrible happen, right? It's Doki Doki Literature Club. A name like that, you can't expect nothing horrible to happen. <laughs> like, you got, there's gotta be. There's gotta be. So, I'm waiting for it. Why did I offer to... Why did I help the offer to help those other students with their work? I'm such a pushover sometimes. I'm going to believe such a bad impression on the new club members like Yuri if I'm not the first one there. Monica rounds the corner, approaching the club room. As she does so, Yuri. Ah! Yuri jumps at the sound of Monica's voice. She's sitting outside the club room, against the wall next to the door. Embarrassed, she quickly closes the book she was reading and stands up. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I'm so I'm late. Uh, you didn't have to wait outside for me. The door to the club room is open. It's... It's not. Yuri stammers, unable to explain herself. She peers inside the club room through the window, then looks away. Actually... I was just, I was wondering if I could help you today instead. Huh? Me? With cup plus 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 and stuff? Yes! Monica's utterly confused. Why is Yuri asking this all of a sudden when she was so eager to spend time with Sayori before? Did they not get along after all? Monica looks into the club room herself to see Sayori sitting all alone inside. Stop! I wanted to bring something up before. Um, when in the last episode or the one before that, I think it was the last one, uh, Sayori had made a reference to something in her past that she remembered. I believe it had to do with, um, everybody making a big deal about her, and then she was, like, upset by that. And I think that refers to the main game. Now, I'm not saying that this actually takes place after the events of the, uh, the main game, but I think it has to do with the virtual machines, because these 
I think the side stories are a separate instance of these characters than the original one. I don't think that's what I think side stories implies. I don't think it's like, this is actually what happened before the events. I think everything we're seeing is before, like outside of that world. Um, so what I'm thinking is she was experiencing some kind of connection to the original world somehow. Why? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't begin to tell you, but I, I, I got a feeling it's something along those lines. So keep that inside your old brain piece and we're gonna move on. Monica looks into the club room herself to see Sayori sitting alone inside. Okay, it's kind of a simple job, but I'd be happy for you to tag along. Me too. Monica's worried, but she finds it difficult to insert herself into whatever conflict that may have arisen. It's a little ironic, she realizes, that she could have been so conflict avoidant after having been in the debate club. Okay, let's take a walk together. Well, well, I don't know. A debate is like very structured and, you know, everybody prepares and then you say a thing and you have it written down. This is like, just talking, that's harder. I just have to make copies of this new flyer, then go around to the billboards and replace the old ones with the new ones. Whoops. Yuri nods and the two set off. Well, should they at least not say hi to Sayori? She's gonna be sitting in there alone all day. The two walk in silence. Without Sayori, Monica finds it quite difficult to strike up a conversation. So, how's everything been? Go. Fine. That's good. Neither of them follow up with anything more. Monica tenses up at the stinted conversation. How the heck does Sayori do it? Ah, uh, I'm sorry I didn't see you yesterday. I went straight to the computer lab to work on the flyers. Where am I going? Mm-hmm, Sayori told me. What did you two end up doing yesterday? Just some reading. Oh, I'm glad. It's really starting to feel more like a literature club now. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I felt so intimidated at first when I heard about the kind of reading you were into. But you know, it's kind of stupid to me. Because I don't like fantasy. It's stupid. Because I'm just intimidated by things I'm not good at. And it's silly to assume that everyone who comes to the club will just have the same interest as me. But it's so cool that you were able to get Sayori into it. It's like the club is working. I'm really happy about that. She's not into it. Huh? She's not into it, and I'm stupid for forcing it onto her. Yuri falls silent again, as if she started her own thought but can't figure out how to continue it. Did something happen? Yuri sighs. No, it's just me. I just... Yuri pauses. Hmm. I'm thinking... Processing. A moment passes in silence, then Yuri shakes her head. I shouldn't be complaining to you all of a sudden. Don't be silly. I don't th I won't think you're complaining. I just want to make sure you feel welcome. If it's important to that, if it's important to that, then you can tell me anything. If it's important to that, then you can tell me anything. All right. Well, I do feel welcome. Too welcome, I guess. It's not an issue with the club. It's just an issue with me. I feel so wrong to inconvenience you with it. Ah, Monica pauses and thinks. Processing. <laughs> well, what if we put it this way? It's my job as bidder to understand the needs of the club members, right? We're gonna have to call all kinds of people joining this club. Hopefully, anyway. And learning about the diverse needs and interests of everyone will help me come up with club activities that everyone can be happy with. That everyone can be happy with? So, not just only some people? Of course. I need to be looking out for everyone, otherwise what kind of club would it be? I see. Yuri looks a little more relaxed. It signals to Monica that switching from a sympathetic approach to a pragmatic one was a good choice. Each individual truly does have their own needs. Okay. Yuri takes a deep breath. <sighs> I'm a really weird and awkward person. I've accepted that. I've accepted that about myself. I just don't know how to, I guess, connect with other people. How is it so easy for everyone else? How do you just make conversation about any arbitrary topic? Great question, Yuri. I'll tell you when I find out myself. I can talk for hours about things that I'm into. Unfortunately, so much so that I don't know when to stop. But for anyone else, I just have no idea what to say. So I understand that about myself. I'm just not good with people. I can't help it. So it feels like whenever I'm confronted with a new social situation, I'm either ignored or made fun of or taken pity on. And Sayori falls into that third category. She, what? Are you saying that Sayori is taking pity on you? 
You're a not. I just want to be treated like a normal person. If you don't like me or don't connect with my interests, then just tell me. I can accept that and move on. Sayori is too nice to me. I'm so stupid for not realizing that she would just go along with whatever I pushed onto her. Nobody deserves to put themselves through that kind of discomfort just because, because they pity some weirdo who doesn't know how to make friends. Ow. Ugh. It's the worst feeling. I hate it. Yuri's sharp words cut through the tense air. Shh! Somewhere in the middle of the conversation, the two taps stopped. The two stopped short in the hallway, prioritizing the conversation over their original task. Monica looks at Yuri. Yuri only looks down with her fists clenched. I think you should tell her that. I could never say that to someone's face. It's pathetic. Sayori is different. Making people happy is the most important thing to her. I'm sure that's all she's trying to do. So... If you're able to explain to her what makes you happy, then she'll do anything to make it happen. That's the problem. What? <coughs> 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 Sorry about that. I kind of choked on my tea. What kind of friendship has one person trying to always cater to the other person's weird needs? I'm sorry. I'm making myself sound so... No. I think I'm starting to understand. Monica hesitates to finish her thought out loud. It's something that Sayori would be able to say better. Sayori is someone who will give anyone however much kindness they need in order to smile. But Yuri, who has difficulty accepting kindness, must be driving Sayori to be even more assertive in her kindness, further exacerbating the matter. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Neither person is to blame, but it's an issue that can be resolved without them understa- It can't- Wait, it's an issue that can't be resolved without them understanding each other better. Sayori wants to- Sayori wants to be your friend, I promise that. It's okay for different people to have different needs. I mean, Sayori, she has her own needs too. But good friends work together and can be what they need for each other. They're not really friends though, they just met. <laughs> you just have to be of good communication and talk about it. I don't have good- I don't have good communication! Yuri stops and shakes her head. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. My head is just, it's so resistant to everything. I'm, I'm pushing, pushing such a kind person away from me because of it. Yuri pauses to think. Processing. I'm so tired of this cycle I'm creating for myself. I think I'm so afraid of people pushing me away that I just push them away first. How thoughtless and immature of me. Yuri takes a brief, deep breath and exhales. <sighs> I didn't mean for this to turn into a whole venting session, but I understand now that I just need to communicate with her. I think the literature club is more like a therapy club. Because everyone is like going through it, you know what I mean? Ah ha ha ha. You're totally fine. It's for the club, remember. Here's helping make the club a better place for everyone. Yeah. Yuri falls silent again. She looks like she wants to say something. Processing. This, this kind of critical thinking is something I'm really bad at. You know, about people. So thank you. Anytime. Monica smiles at Yuri. For just a moment, Yuri finds it in herself to meet Monica's gaze, returning a shy smile of her own. Oh. How sweet. Yuri and Monica finish replacing the old flyers with the new one. More accurately, Monica did most of the work while Yuri followed along. But as the club room once again draws near, so does Yuri's confrontation. I can't do this. Yes, you can. It'll be great. It'll be so awkward. <laughs> Yuri sighs and shakes her head. I'm never gonna feel confident enough. I just don't ha- I just have to do it. If I don't do it now, I never will. Yuri starts towards the door, but then turns to face Monica. You're not just gonna wait outside, are you? <laughs> I could take a walk. Want me to get you a coffee or something? Actually, I prefer tea. I like to make my own though, so please don't worry about it. Although, I suppose that's one downside of reading here in the club rather than at home. I don't get to drink tea while reading. Sorry, I guess that has nothing to do with this. Hmm. You know, now that you mention it, I bet we could get permission to keep stuff for tea in the club room. You can use, like, an electric kettle to heat up water, right? Would that really be possible? I'll look into it. I think it would be great. Yuri smiles and nods at the thought. Well, I'll be back in a bit. Good luck. Monica waves at Yuri, then turns around and departs down the hallway as Yuri's smile fades once more. A moment of daydreaming about tea isn't enough to save her from the anxiety of the task that lies before her. But it must be done! Taking one more deep breath, 
Sorry, breathe. Yuri timidly opens the club room door. Beep. Oh no, she's gonna find Sayori. Oh God, hanging there. Oh my God. I got so scared. She gently pushes open the door. Yuri! Oh, wait, hold on, I'm not done yet. Sayori shuffles a bunch of papers around. Uh, um. Yuri stammers, her words suddenly caught in her throat. At that moment, she realizes how Sayori has been spending her afternoon. I wasn't expecting you to come today. I was really hoping to make it all the way through the next chapter first, but I got most of the way through it. And look! Sayori holds up a sheet of paper. It's a page of notes, beautifully produced with indentations, categories, and even color coding. As Yuri sees it, her expression shifts from anxiety to despair. Nobody can do anything right in this game. It's always like, oh no, I thought I was doing good and I was actually doing bad. I mean, I, I, I know the feeling. I was afraid you were getting disappointed in me, so I've been trying really hard. Stop. <laughs> Yuri presses her fist against her forehead. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoops. I guess you're gonna hide the, whatever you call that thing with the X button. Not sure why. Or the Y button. Please stop. I can't take this. Yuri. Your Sayori's voice quivers in shock after having received the exact opposite responses she was expecting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sayori looks away in guilt. Did I do something wrong? I don't- I don't understand. So if I did something wrong, please tell me. Yuri shakes her head. Now, it's me. I keep putting myself in these situations where people are afraid to treat me normally. If you don't like this kind of reading, it's okay. Please just tell me. I don't need to be treated differently just because I'm weird. But I don't treat you differently. I just want my friends to be happy. So I thought that if we did something together that you really like... I don't want your pity. I don't want your pity. <laughs> Why did I do that? That was weird. I got, I got a hair on my face. Where did that come from? Yuri sinks to her knees. Her voice squeaks. I'm sorry. Tears of guilt and self-loathing begin to stream down her face. This is like the most intense day of everyone's life in these. They're like... Really, really going through it. This isn't how it was supposed to go. What? Who says that? Why is it so hard to just articulate your thoughts? What? Why do you end up pushing everyone away from you? Yuri's mind pounds with the internal accusations as she shuts her eyes, unable to face Sayori or the rest of the world. Why? Right? Like, who is saying these things? Who is this person? She should just leave, just escape from here before Monica sees her like this and before Sayori tells Monica what she did. But before Yuri can put any strength into her legs, she feels a warm pair of arms gently wrap around her from behind. Aww. It's so sweet. It's okay. Sayori whispers in a soothing voice. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Overcome by despair, Yuri finds herself unable to protest or pull away from Sayori's kind gesture. Yuri sniffles. <laughs> Breathing heavily through a clenched throat, trying with all her willpower to control herself. I understand. I understand that the things you're feeling in your head are different from the things you're trying to say. I know that must be what you're feeling right now. I promise I understand that. So I'll give you as much time as you need. When you're ready, just tell me your feelings and we'll talk about them together. Okay? Yuri sniffles again and nods her head. She gives herself a minute to compose her thoughts, then speaks while steadying her voice. I... I think... <laughs> I think I've gotten so used to people being so weirded out by me that it feels like anyone who's nice to me is just doing it out of pity. I'm so horrible with people, so it makes me not want to believe that someone can actually like me for who I am. Yuri pauses, but Sayori doesn't interrupt. Rather, she waits for Yuri to continue. Waiting. I got so excited when I joined the literature club. I thought that it was finally my chance to make friends with my interests because my interests are the only things I know how to talk about. It's all I've going for me. But then whenever I catch myself getting overly obsessive in front of other people, it feels like I'm making a fool of myself. I hate myself for it. Ultimately, I just want to be treated like a normal person. But how am I supposed to expect that when I can't behave like one? I just want to learn how to get along with people and stop ruining things for myself. And that's all. Yuri finishes her thoughts, feeling more steady after having gotten them out. 
Sayori, who can feel Yuri's breath rise and fall from beneath her arms, realizes that as well. Ah, oh, it's sweet. Thank you for helping me understand you a little bit better. You know, you were so great at helping me while we were reading, so I'll help you with the things that you need too. But I feel like it would be just be frustrating for you with how much patience I require sometimes. <laughs> that sounds kind of familiar. I couldn't stop worrying about that while we were reading. I was so afraid you would get frustrated with me. But I would never do that. I did my best to reassure you by mentioning how I have a lot of patience. Yeah, I know, but my irrational fears just won't be quiet sometimes. You understand that, don't you, Yuri? Don't you, Yuri? <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. Uh, I'm sure it's the same for you, right? That's not at all how you are supposed to read that. Ah, uh, it's been a long day. Uh, yeah, irrational fears. Well, you know, there's no one else here. I mean, no way that you could frustrate me because I already like you as the person you are. I know you said I have a hard time believing that, but I promise it's true. Or rather, you have a hard time believing that. So you don't have to be a social person for people to like you. I think you're really considerate in your way, own way, you know? Worrying so much about other people's feelings. We're all kind of weird, especially you. It's a literature club. <laughs> but it's the best part of that we're all different and have different interests. Like about the book. I'm reading it because I want to. I promise. That's what I really want. It's a bit of a struggle, but try not to mistake that for me not enjoying it. I mean, we could never discover new things if we didn't try them first, right? I want to learn the reasons that you love it so much. And in the end, if it's not for me, then I can say that, but I'll be glad that I tried it and learned more about you. Plus, you're like super duper smart, and I want that to rub off on me. <laughs> Yuri fights back a smile at that comment. Already, the heavy atmosphere surrounding her seems to have evaporated through the caress of Sayori's arms. Your hair is pretty soft, so pretty. I always wanted long hair, but I was awful at taking care of it, so I cut it all off. Well, you did that yourself? Mmm, I can tell. <laughs> Yuri, stop. Yuri's tension relaxes. For once, she feels okay just listening, rather than worrying so much about saying the right thing, Sayori-ing the right thing. Sayori, seeing Yuri's discomfort, lets her rest. It must be so difficult for her to feel relaxed around other people. But if the literature club can make it happen, then it's something that she deserves to experience. This is so damn sweet, I almost can't handle it. Well then, based on my understanding of your feelings, I suppose I wouldn't mind if we were to continue reading. <laughs> According to my analysis, calculating, <laughs> that's what I wanted to hear. But we can stop at any time. If you truly don't like it, please be honest about it. I won't be offended. Of course, I'm not gonna judge anything this early on though, so we'll just see what happens. Oh, and um, it's not good to touch people without their consent first. Oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Oh, you didn't. I mean, I suppose it was kind of nice. I was just saying, I'm back. <laughs> Monica's back! <laughs> Whoa! I haven't seen you, like, at all recently. Sayori trots over to Monica. Ah! She whispers loudly. Can I hug you? <laughs> sure, Sayori. Sayori wraps her arms around Monica. Oh yeah, Yuri. It might be good to know. Sayori can kind of be, be kind of a hug monster. Ah! Hey, don't call me a monster. Artemis is monster. If he inherits the kingdom, it could smell disaster. Ah, uh, Yuri laughs. Monica perplexedly looks between the two of them, then smiles. Maybe I should leave. I'm gonna head out. Well, I'm glad you've been enjoying your reading so far. But like, our first real- It's like our first real activity as the literature club. Ah, uh, about that, I'm not joining. Well, you've been so patient with exploring my interests. I think that it would be inconsiderate of me not to return the favor to you and learn about the things that you like. Yes! Do you like poetry? Poetry! Yuri smiles. Oh no! It starts. They'll never be free. Hey! We've done it now! We've really done it now. Okay, so like... Finish the side story, understanding two. Gave me this. What about trust two? What about it? What the hell about it? <laughs>
So it does seem like there's going to be at least one uh, CG scene from each of these side stories, which is cool. I also got a new song. Uh, should should we look at anything while we're here? I feel like this was a short episode. Uh, let's let's. I'm going through um, trust part two again just to see, because I feel like getting to the end of it, it should have like given me some stuff. But I don't know that it did. Oh, Sayori, what? Why is it not skipping? This is really hard for me. Her voice shakes. So if I can do it, then you can too, because you're like a million times better than me. Why? Is this not skipping all of a sudden? Is it be? Is it be be be? Is it Did it just like not save or something? All right, got all the way through. Huh? Didn't unlock any new pictures. I notice. All right. Well, I don't know. Well, what about this VM runtime build one one six? What if that's something? One one. Uh, well, by the way, 221, uh, project plan, this is the one that had the gear as the, uh, you know what I mean? As the key pair. So, why? And what does boat mean? And what does spaceship mean? Oh, well, in the next episode, we'll do respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, tune in in two days for more exciting Doki Doki Literature Club Plus adventures. I've been Mr. Red. Uh, I hope to see you again. Stay spooky out there, everybody. And remember, keep watching.